and welcome back to open studio i'm steve Leahy. here we are with our mustang okay yeah i think i am going to finish that back window and work a little bit on that passenger window just because that will kind of if we can get that back window done then that's like i said last week that's pretty much the whole back of the car which is in just that's good i like it the wheels are super like they're blacked out wheels they're really cool but i just have a feeling they're going to take a while because i'm still not happy with the shape um yeah I, i'm almost guaranteeing that the wheels are going to take at least one whole episode just to because they're going to be a back and forth thing i think so we'll we'll blow that bridge up when we get to it um okay so the back window there's a um let me show you the photograph real quick again or the picture that i took so you see the reflections of the building to the right hand side of the back window those are all coming out but you also see that really nice blue deep blue fade that's going to be in uh it's again this painting is i've kind of removed all the background so really what it should have is just no blue in it because it looks like it's my painting is in a showroom but i really like that blue i really like what it does for the for the car so we're going to leave it in all right so in order to do that what we're going to need to do is i'm going to have to i may have the window template still ha this is why i don't throw anything out <laughs> all right so somewhere in here yep here it is right here oh i can't use it okay so i've got the cutout that i originally used to block in the window the reason why i can't really use it is because it also includes the deck the back deck and the highlight on the you know side and and the hood and everything i'd have to mask all that off by the time i mask that all that off i could just cut a new one and it's not like we don't have enough cutouts we got plenty so I'm just gonna cut out a new one of those da -da 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 -da. how have you all been how's your week going good hopefully we are midweek Wednesday all right cut out a strip of these I'm just gonna grab one of them I could cut all of them out, but you know it's easier to handle you know this one strip of copies than a billion of them. So we'll just cut them out one at a time. Jump back up here. Turn this off for a second because you don't need that while I'm doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just cutting out the window itself. Again, by the time I masked off the bits and pieces that I didn't want paint on on the other copy I'll be done with this so pick your battles you know there's the rear window and I'm assuming it goes yeah oh, definitely I was gonna say I'm assuming it's in the side window it's the side window is almost blue and so this will work out good this will work out well sorry to all my grammar friends now since I've got this is there anywhere else where there's blue there is not not really anyway on the top of the roof but I don't think I want to mess with that yet okay I'm gonna go with that we're just gonna go with that all right um by the looks of this it's been a while oh right here detail cobalt blue this is why hold on you can't see it now because the thing's in the way this is why it helps to make notes so the uh the light blue i have is blue D, or the blue is detail cobalt blue with white so just seeing the cobalt blue is helping a lot because that way i can use the cobalt blue um, i could use a different blue for this but um but i'm going to keep it pretty much the same that's the way to go I think that's the way to go so I'm gonna a cutout like this is a blast this is easy to line up because I've got the windows there I can see them so all I do is just kind of like make the red disappear you know and then on the back deck I just got to make sure that yeah just like that that's good yeah and then from there now again this is on the handle 
like the wind the rear window cuts across the handle of the razor blade so I got to kind of crease this a little bit to make sure that it stays down where it should which is up on the top basically so again I'm gonna have to do a lot of kind of gymnastics to hold this down uh, and then for the color I want to leave black in this yeah I do because I may need the black again what I want to do is mix up a cobalt blue um, cobalt blue is one of my favorite blues I absolutely love this color um, it's just a really nice cool blue I love it so much I can't find it there it is and for those curious, it's, oh, I think it's 066. Again, my bottle has been through the works, but it's Detail Cobalt Blue. Um, with the Createx line, the Wicked line is huge. Um, there's Detail, uh, the Detail line, there's the Regular line, there's the Opaque line. Um, the beauty of it is don't get too hung up on each each of the lines uh, they do different things however they're all interchangeable so for me for instance the detail cobalt blue because the some of the, the detail colors aren't available in the other lines I'll grab this because I like the color as far as the way it performs it performs like everything else to me uh, so I don't have to worry about it the detail color has a slightly um, finer grind for the pigments so it's better for doing detail because it goes through smaller brushes a little bit easier however like i said the regular wicked line sprays so well for me that i use it because of the color more than you know the performance that it's intended for so i'm just going to um put a little bit more on the palette that's the same color right there it's cobalt blue but i don't know if i have enough of it there to do what i'm about to do and then i'm going to grab my fancy mix this is a uh, 4011 reducer and 4050 uh, uvls clear and it's mixed in a ratio of one to five so one part 4050 to five parts reducer so this basically takes the place of reducer solo reducer on all the wicked line for me except the opaque line sometimes i use it with the opaque but for the most part it's just the wicked line so what i'm going to do is i take my brush empty add this first four five six I don't need a whole bunch of it so I put about six drops in there and then with the uh, little paintbrush here just come over to the wet palette grab a little bit of paint I don't want a whole drop you know so I don't want to just put a whole drop of paint in so I just grab a little bit on the end of the brush and mix that in um, the reason why I put the reducer that reducer mix in first is because if I if I just kind of Put the paintbrush in or if i put a drop of paint in the bottom of this airbrush it takes a lot longer to mix that up properly because the thick paint is all the way down the bottom and it just takes a while to mix up if it's on the brush when i mix it in with the reducer it mixes a lot faster which is nice now the big question is is do i want this brilliant blue or do i want this kind of muted i think i want a brilliant so we're going to just go for it sometimes blue is too blue you know and you want to kind of tone it down a little bit so in that instance i would add a little bit of black to it or maybe a you know like a red violet or something but in this case i'm just gonna kind of go for it so this blue is basically the whole passenger window but i'm going to fade it from the top to the bottom and then this rear window it's darker on the right side and then fades away as it gets to the left so that's just kind of how i'm going to attack it get this spraying and really lightly again super light layers I want to build it up I don't want to just hose this thing down and what I'm doing for this fade on on the back deck is I'm kind of doing what I did with the other template when I did the black you know on the uh, rear panel right the back of the car so what I'm doing is I'm actually spraying right on the edge of the paper and letting that kind of flow out. So I'll show you, show you on, this, on this piece. So what's happening is, is as I'm spraying, this edge closest to me is, is you know, darker, but the outside edge, because I'm coming at an angle, is like it fades out so that's all i'm doing to get that to work i'm not actually making a fade on this because again it's so small 
Um, there's not a whole lot of room to move around there. So and I think that's going to be good. I don't want to go too, too crazy with that. Now for the passenger window, same thing. I'm going to start at the top and just kind of fade this down a little bit. I don't want to go crazy again. You know, this is, you know, I don't know. Oh, I do love that. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. The other thing too, that little, you know what? Now that I look at it, yeah, I could have used that other template. The highlights on the back deck actually have more blue in them than I have it. So I actually could have used that, but no biggie because I still have it. And actually it's better because now I could just add a little bit of blue on those extra highlights. Let me find it again. Here we go. The meaning that, you know, these highlights on the back deck um, where I did the, if I included this whole thing, then it would have got the whole, the same treatment across the whole thing. And, and, you know, this way I can just line this up really easily. What does the front look like? Oh, it's white. Okay, never mind. There's a cutout on the, the front hood too. I was going to see if that had blue on it as well, but it doesn't. All right. So now I can just really lightly just hit this a couple times. Take a look at it. Nope, needs more. And this is easy to line up too. That's why I don't have the magnets on it because I'm just kind of holding it in place. And I'm, again, I'm going really light with it. So I don't really have to worry too much about it. Good. I like that. That's nice. I like it. All right, good. That's it. Now, since we're here, what else has to be done on that back? I might as well finish the back window. Yeah, let's finish the back window. Why not? So we'll turn this. How do I want to turn this? I got to do the line on the back of this thing. So it's probably going to be better this way. Maybe this way. Yeah, this way. It's range of motion. It's what my hand likes to do better. So what I'm preparing to do here is to paint this line along the back window here. And it's really, really like tiny and thin and um, so it's easy for my hand to move in this direction. It's not so much easy. It's not easy for me to move in the like opposite direction this way. So I'm going to turn the painting around so that it matches what my hand can do. Pretty obvious, you know, kind of thing to think about. But what happens with me is I'll get so like wound up in the painting that I won't think to turn the painting. I'll just try to force the line through, you know. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing up um, a black with a little bit of red. And the red's just kind of an insurance policy uh, because I'm going up against where the where the other you know side of the window is. I know it's red, so this will like if if it doesn't quite you know if it doesn't quite hit the mark, it's going to have a little bit of red in there too. So it'll look like what it's supposed to. So I'm going to start at the top of the window here. Get this. See if I can get this going. There we go. And then I'm just going to shoot that down. Just clean that out just like that it does creep under the, the handle of the blade so that's weird but whatever all right that was surprising again when things happen the first time especially with one of these things the blades I'm like always surprised because <laughs> usually it's a fight and uh you know like I, I do that line it'd be too thick or you know not in the right spot or whatever you guys must be my good luck charm. I so desperately don't want to make this, you know, look like it's super easy because like I said, I wrestle with them all the time. It's half the fun of these paintings, you know? So, but, you know, I say that and that, that worked out really well. All right, good. The other thing I'm missing real quick that I didn't put in is that the little antenna on the back deck, which is above the Y, which is right here. Okay, that's good. Um, that's, I, I, I uh, want to finish the passenger window, but I'm not going to because, again, I don't want to finish it and then have something happen to it. So we're going to leave it just like that. I mean, we'll, we'll get to it sooner or later. Uh, are we at the dreaded wheel already? I think we are. Well, although we don't have to be <laughs> yet. Um, 
So let me jump. Uh, no, I'll wait. I'll wait to explain what's going on with the wheels when we get there. Um, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the photocopy because the I'm gonna have to wing it. Um, there's the indication on the uh, Shelby. They block out the side rear windows on the sh on the Shelby, and um, but you can still see the the seam where that is. However. It's difficult to see it in the photocopy, but I can see it clearly in the regular copy. I mean the, the photo I have. So in that case, instead of using black, I'm going to jump back to this deep red, this maroon here that I mixed up. And this is what I'm going to use to paint in these body lines, the body lines of that window. And this little guy goes right up to the edge of the back window like that. Again, this is super subtle, um, and if I did this in black, it would stand out like like crazy. But since I'm doing it in this maroonish color, it's just enough. It shows it's there, but yet it's you know, it's tucked in. It's not in your face. And there we go. That follows the line right there. Good. All right, that's that. Yeah, we are at the wheels. Um, Sorry, did you guys see that? I just had realized I had to move it down. Hopefully you saw that. But it's basically, you know, yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, the wheels. All right, let's, um, yeah, we got time. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're there. Let me switch back to the photo here. So you see the front tire is in the sun and the back tire is in the shade. So I am thinking we're going to have... shoot we have to i have to come to a like compromise between the two the reason why is because i've set this car up as if it's as if that shadow doesn't appear so i can't do the 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 rear wheel as dark as it shows you here it has to be more like the front wheel however the front of the car is in bright sun so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to split the difference basically take 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 it as if they were like in between somewhere yeah, I think that's going to work because I'll right, show back to the painting. Um, so because I've, I've, I've eliminated the shadow in the, the rear, you know, this rear quarter. So you don't have the same shadow that you have in the photograph. You can see it up here in the photocopy a little bit that those gray blobs was there was a tree that was right behind the car. Um, I've taken that out. So since I've taken that out, I don't want to have the wheel as dark as it is here. I mean, I could. But then I'd have to have the front wheel as dark as this one, and that may not make sense. So again, I'll just compromise and kind of it's somewhere between the two of them. That's that's the first decision to be made. The second thing to do is to finish straightening out that wheel. It's still wonky. It's still not right, and I don't want to move forward in this until I get that um, buttoned up. So we'll grab some black. This will be good, actually. That we have uh, what about. 12 minutes left so um so it'll take probably that amount of time for me to really make sure i get this the the wheel looking correct and then that way next time what we'll be able to do is just jump into um putting the wheel in fortunately uh for this painting as far as getting done in any reasonable time the wheels are are pretty simple um they're just you know matte black smoked you know kind of matte black smoked out wheels i guess um so in that instance uh they're they're pretty pretty easy you know it's not like an older car that had wire wheels that would take forever you know i want to pull this shadow down too uh, because the way this so all right so when i pull the shadow down underneath the car a little bit i won't do that right now but i'll, I'll do that at some point it'll help me resolve what's going on with the front the lower part of the tire right here Sure, you guys can see now. There we go. Um, so I can kind of get in here now and draw that in, knowing the shadow is going to come down to where this, where I have this line. Um, I could probably go right around too, because the, the underneath the car is going to, underneath the tire is going to have a little bit of shadow too. But we'll mess with that. All right. So this, I got to be careful because this part right here 
is the actual tread of the tire. I'm reading it as this, this whole thing is like the sidewall, but it's not. So I got to be real careful with that. So this is going to come down more. All right. Um, you know, it might be, yeah, you know, it's going to help me out. How much time we got? 10 minutes. Perfect. What's going to help me out is having bits of the wheel in there. So we're going to do that. We're going to cut this next template out. Because if I have the, the, you know, some of the indication of where, where the wheel is, the actual, like, the spokes and everything, it'll help me finish the rest of the form. Right now, I'm just kind of guessing. And the, like I said, the trap is, is I'm seeing by looking at this, that whole thing being the sidewall. Let me show you on the photocopy because you can see it right up here. So what I'm doing is I'm reading this whole thing as just this part right here, the sidewall. But see how you can see the tread right here? So this should bump out a little bit. It should, oh, sorry, you can't see that. So this part corner down here should bump out a little bit. And I don't, in my mind, I don't want to, you know, I think that's wrong. It's not oval. It doesn't look like a wheel. It looks like it's too fat down here, but it really is. It's those, the treads that are showing. So having the inside of this right here is going to help me see that a little bit better. All right, let's move that off to the side so you can see what I'm cutting out here because... I don't know what I'm going to be cutting out here until I look at it. All right, let's put this here. Move this out of the way. Or I could just turn off the pallet cam too, huh? Yeah, I could do that. Let's put this back and we'll turn that off for a second. Good. Now you can see. All right, we're going to, um, we're going to hit both wheels. Why the heck not? So what I'm going to do, since the front wheel is easy to see, I'm going to start with that one. And I'm just going to cut out the entire shadow area. Again, because this will give me that important left side of the wheel and it'll help me line up, you know, what I'm what I'm doing. Because, again, you can see these are really super wide tires and you can see the 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 tread, you know, sticking out. So that, again, it's throwing me off. So I want to make sure I'm painting in the right spot. So there we go. That one comes out sort of kind of stubbornly <laughs> yeah though that side is what i needed to be clean and of course i hacked it all up but i think i got enough of it all right so this back wheel it's the same deal what i want to do is i want to kind of cut out the actual wheel i can't really see what's going on in here because of the, the way the copy resolution is so i'm going to have to kind of wing it a little bit what i'm going to do is i'm going to include the shadow that's here because that shadow will be here it just won't be very pronounced but i can uh, muck around with that later here we go yeah good I'm going to flip this template over because I did kind of hack this up. So when you flip the template over, you can really see the edges, you know, and uh, if, if I really did a crappy job, I'd be able to tell, you know, but that's, that's all right. That's going to be all right. And I was smart and didn't clean the black out of the brush. That was so smart of me. All right. Throw that on again. So now when I put this in, I'm going to have the actual wheels in the right spot. Same deal here. I want to make sure this is exceptionally lined up because, you know, if it's not, it's going to throw everything off and I don't want that. Oh, nice. That was good thinking. The wheel, the rear, rear wheel is on the whole of the blade. That's excellent. Anytime you can take out some of the wheel, either by the edge of the canvas or, you know, something, anything. Um, if you don't have to do that perfect all the way around the edge of the wheel, um, it gives you a lot more leeway. You know, it gives you a little bit of chance to fudge around with it. Where if you, if you see the entire wheel, you know, non-stop edges, um, it, that, that oval has to be perfect. I mean, if you're trying to get like a really realistic car, I've always said that the wheels are the hardest part. 
Uh, they're circles. They're usually concentric, means, meaning there's one circle inside of another all the time. Uh, they're in perspective, meaning you know one's, one's at a slightly different angle, uh, one's smaller. It's just to get them to line up the right way, it usually takes the most time for me. All right, so this is just straight black, and all I'm doing is using this again to draw in that shape. I'm not painting it super dark or, you know, I'm not worrying about, like, you know, putting in the spokes or anything like that. I just want to kind of get the the shape of, of that so I can kind of figure out where, excuse me, where everything else is. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. All right. <laughs> Again, I'm like, what is that? You know, shouldn't be there, but it is. I'm just going to double check that real quick. I feel that's a little too high, but again, I'm not going to just go by my eye. I'm going to flip this real quick and make sure the back side of this over here is lined up. I'm not looking at the wheel. I'm looking at the back corner of the car. I want to make sure that very back corner is lined up so that I know I have it lined up. And that looks good. And then I'm going to jump to the front corner of the car. Again, if I have those two lined up, I'm not looking at the wheel. And yeah, now when I, that's lined up and that, that is exactly where it should be. So watch when I pull this off, see how it looks like it's too far up and to the right, but I, but I know it's not, I know it's lined up and that's a huge help because now like it's in the right spot. So again, wheels are tough, man. Wheels are tough. All right. But that's a good thing right there. I did probably clip that a little bit. And what I did was I clipped it with the wheel well, like I brought the wheel well in too far. That's why it looks like it's too far up in the up in the uh, upper, upper corner there but what's fun about that is now I can reclaim that and make it the way it should be again I was going by what I was seeing and what I was seeing wasn't correct so I'm gonna mix up some gray here a lighter gray again the tire gray and I'm gonna use remember this this shadow right here is right this one I just put in so what I'm going to do, this might be too dry. This is too dry. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reclaim the front edge of the tire a little bit. Like that. This is now too wet. Oy, that's all right. So reclaim that a little bit. Like that. Turn it. Yeah, it's... This is what I was talking about. So I just reclaimed the front edge of that tire, but I pushed it out too far this way. So now I got to go back in with black and cut it back in. And this is what I was talking about with the window. Sometimes it works out perfectly. You know, you hit it right off the bat. And then sometimes it's just a back and forth. What the normal process is, like I'll hit this with the black and maybe I'll hit it a little bit too much. And I'll have to go back in with the gray and just keep going back and forth until it's right. But... This time, we're going to win. Yep. Actually, there's a little divot in the front of that. Not, not so much a mistake, just something that happened, but that looks good. Yeah, this will actually work out really, really well, because what we'll be able to do is we'll start digging into the wheel next on the next episode. Um, can we finish the wheels in one episode? I actually think we can. If we get the tires done in one episode, that would be fantastic. Again, um, I'm, you know, I, th those rules are not steadfast and, and carved in stone. For instance, I'm going to finish both wheels at the same time because it just makes sense. I don't want to do this wheel, then keep doing all this stuff, and then come back and do this wheel and have it be a different color, you know, different value. If I do the wheels at the same time, I'm treating them both the same way. I'm using the same colors. They're going to look the same and, and I'm going to win. I run the risk, though, of having this part done and, you know, rubbing it off or whatever. But uh, but it's worth it in the in the long run, you know. All right. So I think that's going to be a good spot to hold this one. Because from here, it's just really cutting out a new template and getting those spokes in. And then I'll be able to kind of pull it all together. But I'm super excited. This is going really quick. All right, so thank you all for joining me on this, I was going to say Model Monday. <laughs> it's not Model Monday, it's Open Studio. So I'm Steve Leahy. If you uh, enjoy what we're doing here, please consider doing what these lovely people have done. Uh, you can become a member here on YouTube and get you all kinds of cool perks like being an admin on the live feeds. 
Uh, you can join me over on Patreon, and that's just a flat up I love you to me, which I, I'm super grateful for. And then the freeway is gigantic. If you click that like button, and um, if you're not already subscribed, that would be fantastic. All right. So for Steve Leahy and Open Studio, I'll catch you guys next time. Love you.